Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I will explain how to control accommodation while doing subjective refraction. It is very important to make sure that accommodation of the patient is relaxed while doing subjective refraction. Otherwise, uh, refractive error cannot be measured properly. I will start with the most common mistake uh, that happens when you do subjective refraction. That is giving more minus to the patient. When you give more minus to the patient, uh, the accommodation of the patient is stimulated. The patient starts to accommodate with the glasses. As a result, when he starts accommodating, for, let's say for an hour or so, then um, stenopic symptoms develops, such as headache. So being a refractionist, you must know that uh, you should try your best to not uh, give more minus to the patient. Giving more minus simply means that accommodation is not at uh, rest and patient is accommodating. So I will share some tips by which you can make sure that accommodation is not exerted by the patient while doing refraction. Uh, tip number one, always start with the plus lenses. Let's suppose uh, a patient comes to you and you do not know whether he has hyperopia or myopia. So it is recommended that first you show him plus lenses. If you show him minus lenses first, then minus lens will stimulate his accommodation. And once his accommodation is stimulated, it will be difficult to relax his accommodation. So it is suggested that you should always try plus lenses first. And if patient does not appreciate plus lenses, then you can go with the minus lenses. Tip number two, whenever you are uh, doing refraction of a myope, let's suppose uh, you have given him minus one and he is six by six, let's suppose. And then you give him minus 1.25. And let's say he says that uh, minus 1.25 is better. Then you have to ask him uh, to compare both the lenses and tell uh, whether letters with 1.25 are darker and smaller or not. If he says that the letters are darker and smaller, it means that you are over minusing the patient. So do not add this negative lens. Stay with your original minus one lens. Next step, when you are refracting hyperopic patients, uh, let's say you have again given him plus one and his vision is um, six by 18 and you want to increase the plus number further. So do not remove this lens from the trial frame. First, add the new lens, let's suppose 1.50 and then you should remove plus one from the trial frame. And uh, this procedure is opposite while refracting myopic eyes. Taking the same example with minus one, he is 618. And um, you decided to increase your number to minus 1.25. Then you have to remove minus one lens first from the trial frame, and then you can add minus 1.25. But in plus lenses, opposite is true. First you will add plus 1.50 and then you will remove plus 1. Next is visual equity with the minus lenses. As we know that for best vision sphere, you have to give minimum minus that gives you maximum visual equity. Let's say with minus 1 patient is 6 by 6. And uh, with minus 1.25 again is 6 by 6. So you will give him minus one. You have to give him the least minus. So you can decide your prescription by the help of visual equity. If for some reason while doing refraction, you come to know that your patient is has started accommodating, then you should add more plus. Let's say plus one 
and then you have to remove it slowly so that his accommodation can be relaxed because plus lenses relax the accommodation and uh, if you come across the patient whose uh, accommodation is very active as seen in children's then the best thing to do is cycloplegic refraction you should perform cycloplegic refraction so these are some tips by which you can control accommodation while doing uh, subjective refraction thank you